Hello, this is Brian again. We're going to part two. So, I left my car parked over there and I'm following up this use trail. Just wondering where this is going to lead. This could be very interesting. I wonder if this will lead all the way to the Pacific Crest Trail. Actually, if it does, I wouldn't mind. Because I notice that scattered along the slopes of this mountain range, you'll find a lot of these little footpaths that lead through kind of near where turnouts are along the highway. So sometimes you'll find little footpaths appears to be more of a footpath than a game trail. Could be wrong, but sure was quite well defined at the turnout. It's pretty easy to follow thus far. Oh, my backpack is heavy. Carrying a lot of water. Because the temperatures up here in the mountains have been very, very warm this summer thus far. Today's no exception. Big Bear, I think it's supposed to be around the mid 80s today. We're above 7,000 feet, a little, I think. So around here, probably still be this elevation. I would think it's probably going to be in the low 80s. And so getting up this ridge, I'm going to have to take my time. But Finding a use trail is definitely, definitely to me, is actually kind of a relief. So, I don't know if this is going to lead me, if this is going to lead me all the way to the Pacific Crest Trail. If it does, that's great. It's great. That would actually be really cool. I said in my first clip, my plan was just to walk cross, cross country up one of the gullies off the northwest face of Mount Burnham. That was originally my, my plan. But when I got to the area, it didn't look too, didn't look too kind for people who are less than avid mountaineers. It looked steep, guaranteed, with loose soil. So, coming to this turnout here, west of Vincent Gap, a little bit higher up than Vincent Gap, which sits at just under 6,600 feet. This kind of neat to find trails, a little footpath here. I am very much out of shape. You notice I haven't been releasing a lot of content. So, why am I cho choosing a potentially very challenging route to get up to the ridge line? I'm trying to get myself back into it. But, considering this is likely going to be a short mileage route, The mileage from where I originally planned to hike, if I went up to Mount Burnham, would have been less than a mile one way. Probably about a mile and a half, mile and three quarters out and back. Just going to Mount Burnham from that turnout. The mileage is probably short because the trail, or actually in that area, lack thereof, would be extremely steep. So I'm bringing trekking poles with me today. Um, I very rarely use them. So, probably a good idea to have them. I mean, this is kind of steep here. It's nothing out of control. But there's another little path leading up from down there. There are probably lots of little mini footpaths and use trails 
laced throughout the area. Sometimes it's like the luck of the draw when you get to a turnout. If you're trying to use a turnout as a so-called trailhead. But here I am, climbing up another canyon. Only I'm not exactly in the gully. I'm actually just underneath the ridge. Usually, when I do these off-trail canyon hikes, I usually use the gullies because usually the footing is a little more stable. I think it's the, the soil is usually a little harder packed. Not always super different, a super big difference, but it's usually quite noticeable. When you're hiking off trail, you're at the mercy of how loose the soil is. Coming up to this little lid lip here. I'm actually using the walking sticks right now. <sighs> cool little overlook here. <sighs> That's looking down towards Big Rock Creek Canyon. Whew. I'm already breaking a sweat. So it's quite warm today. Thankfully it's not hot. But when you're hiking, it feels a lot warmer. So I'm wondering if this trail is going to continue. It looks like it might run out here. So in that case, I might be on my own from now on. It might have just been something to lead up to this local lookout area. Well, like I said, I brought extra water and I'm pretty confident in my navigation around this area. I know going this way, keeping Mount Lewis in sight, will lead me back to Angeles Crest Highway. And getting back to Angeles Crest Highway from here, you know, it's just a matter of when I get back to the highway, just knowing that from this direction I'm going to have to turn left to walk down Angeles Crest. But even so, if I get to Angeles Crest Highway and I'm a little ways from where my car is parked, I know if I pass Vincent Gap, I'm going the wrong way and I just need to walk up, walk uphill from Angeles Crest Highway at Vincent Gap to where I'm, where I'm parked on Angeles Crest, which is down that way. So it kind of looks like the use trail peters out here. It kind of looks like now it's going to be a free-for-all cross-country hike now. I'm wondering if I should follow this ridge here. Of course, I also have that mentality that if things get super out of control, that I do have the sense to turn back if things start getting out of control. I don't want to have to, but, you know, it's better to be safe than put yourself through an, in an insane amount of danger. So. Let's see. Oh. Could probably just follow this little dip here. I'm trying to see. Yeah, it looks like the trail completely disappears now. So whatever that was is was it. It was just to that probably to that little overlook over there. So now it looks like I'm gonna be following the ridge off trail. 
Sometimes, sometimes walking along the ridge can be good. For me, it's usually usually gully, but sometimes you can get a solid footing on a ridge line as well. So I'm gonna see if by following this ridge, it'll lead me. This time, I wouldn't be surprised if it leads me closer to Baden Powell than it does to Mount Burnham. And we'll see how that goes. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and keep on going. I'll check in periodically, let you know how this is going. And I'll see you up the way. See you on part three.